Greetings, my dear student. We will start electric forces, which is investigation four. Atoms are composed of electrons whizzing around a central nucleus of protons and neutrons. The radius of an atom is more than 10,000 times larger than the radius of its tiny nucleus. That means that the volume of empty space in an atom is one trillion time larger than the volume of the particles that make up atoms. Like the atoms that it is made of, your body is mostly empty space. Yet everything about you seems very solid. When you sit in a chair, you don't fall through the chair. When you stand on a floor, you don't fall through the floor. Why is is it that you don't fall through a chair or the floor? Why is it that you cannot effortlessly climb wall, but geeks can? Answering these questions requires an understanding of electric forces and the particle level interactions that are a result of these electric forces. First experience is about Coulomb's law. Electric charge, we will discuss and understand what we mean by electric charge. We refer to neutrons and uh, electrons. Electrons are what we care about in our lesson. Electrons, what produces electricity. Electrons, protons, and neutrons. We will dis discuss the definition. What is the Coulomb? The SI unit called Coulomb, named after the physicist. He discovered the relationship between electric force charge and the distance between charged objects. We will talk about the charge of electron, what's the charge of proton, and what's Bohr model of the atom, how is it connected to physics. Then we will discuss electric forces, how to represent it using Coulomb's law, what is Coulomb constant, what is the magnitude here, Fe is equal to Ke times the absolute value of Q1, Q2, which means it's always positive over the distance between the two charged particles, squared, which remind us of which law I need you to remember. The gravitational uh, force has the same general uh, form like this one, electric force, the two charged particles, and then we will model a hydrogen atom. Then we will discuss electric force and vectors. How is it represented? Inverse square low, the one that we took, how to represent it graphically. And then we will use or see how to use the ele electroscope. What is it and how is it used in our physics classes? Then we will solve many problems uh, using columns low. How does it affect our forces that we have. And then the last thing is to evaluate or reflect on our answer. Of course, you will be given many questions to solve on your own. Now, we have different uh, types of charging. We will take uh, charge by contact. Also, we will take charge by induction. We will talk about uh, intermolecular forces also. And then finally, we will model electric and contact forces. I hope you will enjoy this chapter and uh, all of the lessons here. Have a good day.